Welcome back to the beautiful North Stradbroke Island. While I'm setting this up, I'm going to send you guys on a little video that Greg and I took this morning. He's back over. We went out, we chased some whiting this morning. This is what we ended up with. Uh, I'm going to roll on the clips now so that you guys can see the cool little session that we had this morning. Well guys, that's a little bit of fun out on the bay. And if you can get your kids out there, these school holidays, you guys are gonna have so much fun. There's a few about, and we had a really good time out there. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make you some beer battered whiting. I'm gonna teach you my beer batter recipe. You can use this across any fish. Use the same technique. And guys, it is so crispy, it's, it's delicious. Let's start with the batter. So we'll start with a couple of eggs. And we stop. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. A nice cold beer. I don't wanna I don't wanna use all this up. So we'll get that whisked up together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly add some flour. 
to get it to the consistency that I want. So just gradually adding that flour as I'm whisking. So the key to a good batter is for it not to be too thick. You see a lot of people, what they do is they, they load their batter up, they make it really thick, and it's just, it doesn't become real crispy. So add that flour. Touch more flour. Uh, so you can see that's got a nice ribbony consistency. Now that's ready. So we'll put that to the side and we're going to prepare our whiting. Well, we've. Uh, prepared our batter. Now what we've done is I've laid out all of our whiting um, fillets here. I've butterflied the fillet. Uh, I'm going to get a video up for you guys on how to fillet your whiting, how to butterfly your whiting. That'll be a video in itself. But today we're just purely here to cook these guys. So laid them all out flat on our board. We're going to season these guys inside, outside. Then we can put them in the batter. Seasoning beforehand is so important. As with most things that we cook, you'll notice in every video, season it, cook it. It's so important. So let's get this done. Some salt. And then we'll flip all these. All right, so we flipped all them over. Let's get some seasoning on the other side. Okay, before we go any further with this recipe, Gregory and I tried something a little bit different today. We thought, I reckon a whiting might just take a lolly. So let's have a look at that clip and see how that went down. Sure, buddy. So what we do is, oh, get a little bit of busy chicken cook. On, in. <laughs> <laughs> Have to after that. Oh no, he's on. He's, he's got on. it. He's on. <laughs> Whiting on a bit of fizzy chicken feet. Just like that. Called fizzy chicken feet. So. You don't have to be a genius to catch a whiting. You just got to have lollies on board, apparently, <laughs> and it worked. And it worked for us. So, here we go. After we've uh, seasoned our fillets, what we're going to do is we're going to check the temperature of our oil uh, because we want to make sure that they're going in there super, super hot. That's what gives us our crispiness. So we'll drop a bit of the batter in there. You see how that's bubbling like that? That is so perfect right now to drop these guys in. Plate of flour. What we're going to do is we're going to put our fillets, so the pan will fit about four fillets at this time. So we'll get those in there, like that, cut them down, flip them over, just get them lightly floured on each side. What this helps with is it helps the batter actually stick to our fish. From there, we just give that a little whisk. That has come up so smooth, it's beautiful. And now, the key part. In there like this. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure most of that batter actually drops off that whiting. And then just slowly work it into the oil. So what it'll do, it'll just start floating and just like that. Into the batter. Drain off as much as possible. Work it through, and then down. So this is the key to a really crispy batter. Draining off that excess um, batter, it just makes it thinner, but it also makes it a lot crispier. 
And because whiting is so small and fragile, it doesn't take a long time to cook. You don't want to be dousing it with a lot of batter. A little bit of weather's moved in. A bit of campground cook up in the rain. Nothing wrong with it. But, cheers guys. Have a look at those bad boys. Woo! Crispy! And that is our last one. Let's get these guys on the plate. So we've got some of Greggy's special sauce here. Beautiful chili sauce that he makes at home. It's gorgeous. These guys are so crispy. Oh my goodness. We'll get them on the plate. And that is our beer battered whiting. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. It's certainly been a whole lot of fun. I've met some guys out here on the uh, campsite and I said, why not come over for some lunch? So here they are. Hey guys. G'day, how Hello. are you? Here's some lunch. And uh, enjoy. Yum. Thanks, Thank you, Stu. <laughs> You're very welcome. Oh. Let's do it. Would you like a triple? <laughs> Thank you. Take a little bit of lemon. Thank you. Okay. Oh, nice. How is it? That's good. That's all right? Huh? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. If you enjoy the content, please feel free to subscribe um, to keep up to date with what we're doing. Make sure you get over here to the beautiful North Stradbroke Island. I'll see you in the next episode. See you.